Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on Road and Load. I'm Louise, and I'm joined with Beth as well, who we haven't hey. actually met in person yet, and this is the first time. I know, is that? But I do feel like I know you already, Louise. Exactly. So we do the podcast together, um, but we haven't touched, and now we have. So <laughs> that's a physical contact. It's nice. It's actually nice. We're also at cameraman's Matt's house as well. Hi, you, Matt. How's, How's it going? Matt? Here he is, off camera, loving it. And by the chocolates, it's um, all good. Here. It's, <laughs> it's nice. I'll try not to, but it is very close to my hands. So we shall see. <laughs> but today, Beth, I think we need to have a little look about where it is we start in how to actually become a lorry driver, because I don't know about you, I'm not sure how to start or even where to start. Do you know? I know. I haven't got a clue, to be fair, Louise. No. I think Google will give us all the answers. Google knows all. <laughs> yeah, it does. It always knows all. So we'll go for it. Well, what do you think we should type in first to Google to see if we can find some answers? How to become a HGV driver. It's a good place to start, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good one to start with. Okay, and this is the Gov website as well. So yeah. um, this should give us a nice little inkling here um, about getting qualified. So yeah, having a full car license, which is number one. So you need to be able to be able to drive a vehicle. Yeah. I.e. a car. Yeah. And um, be over 18. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some exceptions, so oh. it's interesting. Yeah. So um, there might be sort of more of an entry level thing to get involved with. Mm -hmm. Um, get a professional driving qualification called the Driver Certificate of Professional Competence, which is a CPC. Don't know what that is. Me neither. No idea. <laughs> no idea. It just looks like letters on a page right now. <laughs> I'm sure we can find out more about that um, somewhere else. But uh, yeah, so that's good. So that, that kind of the starts to get qualified. Yeah, in the it. main points. Um, so how long does it take? Let's have a little look. Oh, six to eight weeks. Okay, so, that's not too bad. No, I thought it might be a little bit longer, actually. So that's about two months, really, coming up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, and most of the time spent waiting will be from the DVLA to put the provisional entitlement on your licence during oh. the estimated time frame. Yeah, so you've obviously got to, to get that updated yeah. at some point. So it, only, it could possibly only take six weeks or less to, of training yeah and, and you're then you're waiting for waiting. Document. yeah yeah good times we love a wait actually oh and earn up to 55k that's pretty so, decent that is decent isn't it i think we investigated that on the podcast recently didn't we about like prices and what it is to like work in the industry and stuff yeah. so that's a nice salary to be yeah fair. for sure a nice one so what do you have to do to start um so it well it says if you like driving and love the open road it could be something for you and that's probably the main thing. That's the thing that makes me think about it the most is I actually do like being out on the road and driving and stuff. So Apps, especially when you're going through like rolling hills or you're like, you know, the scenery is really nice, which with lorry driving, you do tend to go to like, although you're on the motorway quite a bit, you do come off, don't you? And you kind of go into For different sure. parts of the world even. That's so, so true. Um, so, oh, okay. And it says... There's different types of HGV licenses. I didn't actually know that. Me neither. So are, they, so are these the categories here? Cat C1 plus E. So a Cat C1 plus E license allows you to drive vehicles weighing between um, 3,500 kilograms and 7.5 kil thousand kilograms. Interesting. So, okay. So there's quite a few different cats. So I guess you if, you want, if you want to drive the biggest lorries, you've got to have yes. the highest one there, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so what do we actually need to do to start this though? It's not too clear on this website, is it? No, the steps to gain your H, yeah, medical, medical test. Oh, that's oh, interesting. Okay. Um, each professional driver must pass a medical exam as part of their training. Right. Oh. So I guess that's something to consider then. Absolutely. If you want to become a lorry driver, you need to make sure you are physically fit enough to do it. Fit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wonder what the, um... So what does this involve, the medical test? So the first part is an interview in which the doctor and candidate discuss any existing medical conditions that may interfere with safe driving. So that I can imagine sort of maybe, it might be eyesight, maybe short or long-sighted, might be maybe a inkling into that. You know? Yeah, yeah, for Interesting. sure. Interesting. Um, any dishonesty brought to light by a future accident or violation could result in a very unpleasant consequences. <laughs> So don't do it. <laughs> what, what happens? <laughs> do we get <laughs> exiled? What happens there? <laughs> um, all right. So it says, how fit? How fit do I need to be? So you've got yeah the main like you just said eyesight of yes. course is going to be a huge one. Um, neurological problems. So 
uh, like the disease, like major diseases. I suppose that would be the same for driving, though. You wouldn't can't drive a car if you're at risk of just passing out or something. Absolutely not. No, that is not ideal because <laughs> you need to see. Um, yeah, blackouts, memory problems, seizures. Yeah, epilepsy. Epilepsy is always a big one, isn't it? When you consider these kind of things. Yeah, definitely. Um, so wow, it's quite an extensive list. Actually. Yeah, there's a lot there. Okay, well, we'll take that as just you need to be genuinely yeah. healthy. Have an exam <laughs> in your medicals. <laughs> See if you're fit to go. <laughs> um, okay, so that's one thing we know. What else? Theory test. Ah, ah, the dreaded theory test. Yep. The big time. Yeah, it's not yeah. something I ever want to do. No, it's it's always the one where like you, you do a couple of things wrong and you fail. <laughs> and that's frustrating. Yeah. But uh, I suppose you've got to know the ins and outs of the signs of the roads and I mean a lot I I find like in a car theory test obviously you do kind of have sections where you talk about having a trailer on the back and things like that and how mm. fast you can go with certain loads in your car. Yeah. So I wonder how it differs sort of with a lorry theory test. If yeah. that like, because it must be something to do with weight and surely oh, and definitely. stopping distance and all that kind of stuff yeah, with that. So that's that'd be true. interesting to see. I think it'd be a lot more sort of technical. Yeah, I think yeah. A, there must be some more ins and outs yeah, with that like for sure. Yeah, like a theory with your driving test, you can almost guess a few answers. Absolutely, but yeah. I don't think you could guess on this. No, oh no, no, no. I feel like I will be in the deep end. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, so you do the theory test first and then on to the practical training. Interesting. So you can't actually do the training until you've done your theory test by the looks of it. That's interesting because that's different for a car, isn't it? Because you can you kind of do it as you go, don't you, yeah. usually? And then you kind of go the theory and then you just take the test, don't you? So yeah. So maybe, the, like you said, like maybe there are some intricacies that you need to know even before you step into the lorry or the truck to be able to drive. So it'd be yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's true. That well, I suppose there's so many <laughs> buttons and yeah. gadgets. <laughs> yeah. You can't just sit <laughs> in there and be like, yeah, Let's go. Let's get a banter. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's like the truck simulator that I am not very good at. So that's not fun. Not good. So can you drive a lorry from 17. Right, so mm, where are we looking here? Oh look, oh, yes. oh, check if you're old enough. Do you oh, think we're old enough? Let's see, as we play, <laughs> are we old enough? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of vehicle do you want to drive? Ooh. Oh, it's got one of them. Yeah, it's all right. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. Right, large um, vehicles and lorries. Yeah, that's definitely the one. Category C. One. Okay. Or oh, quad bikes, that would be fun. That Should would. We took that one too. Yeah, just for banter, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> How old are you? 21 and over. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Getting old. Do you have a full car driving licence? I do. You do. I do, do not. So, okay. Interesting. So we could do it. To see, I mean, obviously with a no, I'm guessing no. Yeah. So, well, yeah. should we find out? Yeah, let's have a go. No. Let's have a little look. Because that's another sort of crucial step. Yeah, you'll need to get your full, full car driving license before oh. you can even think about it. So you can't even go from scratch and just say, right, I want to go straight to a lorry. But I no. suppose even like that is such a big step. You've never gone in a vehicle before to yeah. go in like such a big yeah, tank true. of a vehicle and be like, hey, let's see how we get on. But, that is true. That's interesting. Okay. So, well, at least we now know if you do want to do your driving license for lorries, you've got to do. You've got to have your car, have your car yeah. license first. Which does make a lot of sense, to be fair. So let's say you've done that, and then it says you can apply for a provisional large vehicle um, or lorry entitlement category C. Oh. So I don't really know what that means. Neither do I. <laughs> ABC. <laughs> Oh, you'll need to take a category C test. Right. Okay. And that's what we looked at just then then, wasn't it? Yes, so that was the interesting. So I wonder should we have a little look at the test here on it entails? Yes, let's find that out. Take a category C test. Oh, adding Oh, so it's like adding categories to your driving license. Sure. Um, so pass your car driving test, have a provisional entitlement for the category of vehicle you want to drive, and pass the driving test for the new category to get full entitlement. I would like to know, actually, the money side of it. Yes, that would be interesting, wouldn't when it? When you're learning, can you can you be paid for that? Can you do, like, an apprenticeship? Or? That should be interesting, actually. Let's have a look at that. Cause, yeah, because yeah, it can rack up, can't it, when you take lessons, because lessons can be really expensive. For sure. Um, so let's see, how much is a 
uh, lorry driving recipe. Let's have a little look. Mm. <laughs> Every time we're like, like <laughs> somebody had for so little time. <laughs> Google. Um, so, all right, what's this one? The cost to complete your HGV driving training will range between 220 for a C1 Ooh. and the. Uh, our gold fast track calls at the cost four thousand. Wow. Well, that's quite a big difference. That is, <laughs> yeah, from two hundred pounds to four grand. Um, interesting, but yeah, as, I think with any fast track that you do have to pay that little bit more. Of but I course. mean, because you in the sort of driving a car, if you compare it to that, you can do fast tracks, but I don't know if they're four grand's worth. So it's interesting yeah. that you must get quite a lot of training within the four grand to kind of pay that fast track. I feel like this is if you're going more of a private route as well because yes. I do remember seeing when I've looked into something else before that some companies will pay for your training. Oh, like yeah, like you said an apprenticeship. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I wonder if we looked at say like Eddie Stobart, I wonder if they on their website have um something that gives them maybe a training scheme on their website. Yeah, that's we a good a shout. Can let's Check have a that look out. at Eddie Stobart see what they're saying. So, mm. oh, become a Stobart driver, new rates of pay. Apply now, let's just get a job, let's do it. I've just got to get my water in. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you can be a lorry driver. There you go, it's happening, it's all kicking off. <laughs> I'm going to get Beth signed up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, for example, become a Stobart driver. Um, oh, it's interesting as well. It has the actual rates on here, how much it does, you do get paid for being um, with this company in particular. Mm. So for a, so it, uh, interesting, it's different locations. So you've got north, you've got northeast, northwest, Yorkshire, East Midlands. Um, but the, the prices seem to be very similar for each. So a day kind of allowance is about 32 to 34K um, based on average hours. And then nights go up to 36 to 37K and tramping goes up to 41 to 47K. So... Mm. So yeah, that's yeah. when you get your most money in. So at least it's good, like you can see here, they've got current vacancies, working with them, apprenticeships and driving school. So they okay. actually do it all. Yeah, So and I'm sure a lot of other companies probably do as well. So it's definitely worth a research. If there's any company that if you fancied it and want to have a look into it, I'm sure they'd probably do the same. So that's interesting to know. Yeah. It's good, yeah. I've never, sure. thought, I've never thought about that. Like learning and getting paid, which is the dream. <laughs> the dream combo, isn't it? Literally, like just as good as chocolate. So, so I think we should move on to the next thing now. I think yes. we've sort of got this rough details. I'm not sure what else, so, uh, is, what else we need to find out. But. So we've had a look at prices, haven't we? We've had a look at starting out and learning. Um, I wonder, maybe we could find how easy it is to get a job. Maybe how how many jobs there actually are? Cause I'm not 100 percent sure. I mean, to be fair, I think that there's loads at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be back on the road driving. Um, well, Matt's saying we're chatting too much now. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> we're blabbing yeah. so we've done it so we found out some bits yeah. um, <laughs> definitely but no I, th I think yeah I think we've got the keys there I mean they're the main three aren't they sort of like how to start when to start and how much it is to kind of get get started really yeah so, for sure yeah. so we're not going to find out any more sitting on our asses, Louise no. we better get out there and see some see more. what's going on <laughs>